About an hour out from Duluth, Minnesota, sits an abandoned town that's been rotting away deep in the woods. During the 1950s, Finland, Minnesota was chosen as a prime location for a radar base for the U.S. military. Due to its remote location, housing had to be built on site for many of the workers that would work at the base. Towards the downfall of the Cold War, in the 1980s, the base closed for good. The housing was purchased by a separate developer, planning to turn the over 100 acres into living quarters once again. The homes underwent a slow process of restoration, but ultimately, in the end, everything was left abandoned. How's it going, everybody? Today we're inside this abandoned ghost town, and already I see a car here that's completely flipped over. This is a uh, scene straight, straight out of an apocalypse movie. And uh, by the by, the quick look I got, it looks like a lot of these houses kind of just left everything behind. Let's go check out this car here. Wow! Oh, somebody took the catalytic converter. What was this? This was a uh, looks like a '90s or a 2000s car. Completely flipped over. Very strange. Um, let's go. Where should we start? Uh, let's start at uh, let's start at this yellow house. Uh, let's start at this one. As you can tell, the uh, the weather's not the best right now. Freezing cold, um, but I'm here, and. Um, it was not an easy drive, let's just say. But I really, really, really wanted to go here. Home sweet home. The paint in here looks really nice. Look at all these, look at all this stuff here. This is so weird. You know, a lot of this furniture is really nice. It's like um, people were going to move in here. Maybe somebody did temporarily live here. It looks like maybe. Really weird. All this um, beautiful furniture. Yeah, just, just look at that. That car flipped over. So strange. How does that even happen? How do you flip a car over in the middle of nowhere? It really is the middle of nowhere. It's like the, uh, the mountains. Wow. Get a clock and a couple other things, a plate. Dishwasher with papers in it. It's an odd looking dishwasher. Wow, there's still uh, utensils. That's crazy. But as you can see here, the, the houses go back quite a bit. So here's like their um, bathroom. Somebody stole the sink. Here's the bedroom. <laughs> what if I told you guys I slept here? It's hard to sleep in my car. So strange, man. All this furniture. Over here we got some uh, magazines, let's see. The last date on this one. Oh. The last date on this one is 2000. 2002. So crazy.
Oh my gosh. No way. There's a whole car in here. Another car. That's absolutely crazy. There's an abandoned van in here. And um, as you can see, vandals have gotten to this place, but uh, not too many people have uh, heard about this and it's pretty remote. This is crazy. Why would they leave a car behind? All this stuff I've already seen. Wow. So that, that's two cars now. So I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering how many cars there are and if there's cars in every single garage. Not as much stuff in here. Oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me. There's a whole, and this one's sick. They got, they got um the flames and everything. What is this, a Suzuki? Suzuki Samurai, I think, or a G. Wow, and this was a, uh, I think that this was the top for it. There's a boom box and a bicycle, two bicycles. Yeah, like legitimately this is, this is so odd. I've never seen cars in an abandoned neighborhood just left abandoned like this. Absolutely surreal. It looks like they had some cool additions. You don't really see these cars too much. I don't know if they're not reliable or, oh, these people might've been Jewish. Look at this. Wow, and they had back seats. I thought this was a small car. But yeah, you could see how fa far back this goes. It's about three rows of houses. I think there's a lot more houses you can't even see. Whoa. It really just looks like these people just got up and left. How does this happen? They still left their dishes in the sink. I wonder if they left food in the fridge. Oh, just water. Pro tip, never open a fridge in an abandoned building. It smells really bad. Oh my gosh. Wow.
That was weird. I wonder if this room is haunted. So here's the other bedroom. This is just crazy. There's um, shoes right there. A couple other things. Wow. Absolutely crazy. 2011. This might have been the car they had. I keep hearing creaking in this house. It's really creeping me out. Gosh. Yeah, there, there's like a bed in every room here. Here's their uh, garage. They got some appliances. Some, some uh, swimming fins and garbage. Let's look at this house. Before we get going. Mm, let's go. Should I just show you guys around or I wonder if I should just check out every house individually. There's a lot to see here so I'll just check out a couple houses on this street right now and kind of walk around. I think it is only two streets here. Look, they even had a sidewalk. You can kind of see the mountains back there. We really are in the middle of nowhere. Well, this one looks like a different story at first glance. Stripped to the bone. Nothing cool in here. So yeah, just kind of walking around right now. I don't think I actually checked out this house yet. We got roof tiles in here. Huge log. So many eerie noises I keep here. Yeah, this one's empty. Except uh, this one's a little bit different because they actually have a shed outside. It feels like I'm in a, an apocalypse movie. And as you can see here, this doesn't look like it has very much inside. Somebody took down the power lines here. I believe only a month ago um, this had power somebody I found this place through one tiny video that somebody filmed and there's nobody else that's really filmed this but it's such a mysterious place hmm let's go check out this red house Pieces of wood. Maybe whoever lived in here was a woodworker. Wow. 
Do they have a school here? <laughs> it's so weird. What's with all the, the desks? Look at the peeling paint. Honestly, these houses are pretty long. I wouldn't mind living in here. Yeah, all empty. Here are a couple more houses. Kind of loops around as you can see. Uh, looks like it's also stripped in here. Totally stripped. Looks like they actually, uh, I wonder if they're gonna rehab this place, huh? That would be interesting. It is for sale, by the way, if anybody wants to buy this. Uh, I'm kind of doing a little free advertisement walkthrough for the owner. Wow. Let's see uh, kind of all the houses and the scale of this from here. Yo, they got a uh, tractor, and it looks like it's still in use. Maybe, it has an oil filter here. It's been recently changed. That doesn't make sense. Look at that, you guys. Very cool. But uh, everything else kind of looks empty in this house. Kind of going around the corner here. That gives you kind of a cool shot. Just how much is over here. I think it's funny, for the most part, when I explore abandoned neighborhoods that have been long abandoned, somebody always opens every single garage door. Maybe not everyone, but most of them are open. You'll notice all these uh, propane tanks back here. That's um, it's just because this neighborhood is so remote that they can't, I don't know. They usually have propane tanks at very, very remote areas, you know? We have one, for example. Look at this. This is a split driveway and uh, a bunch of crap in there. And a basketball hoop. Lots of newspapers. Oh my. People left everything. They must have been hoarders. This is just straight out of a movie, you know, like a video game. I don't see any interesting things though. It looks just like a bunch of junk. Still, it's crazy. I mean, what did they, what's with all this stuff, you know? Very odd. It 
It's literally all uh, garbage as far as I'm concerned. Well, so they, they took the toilet with them. Didn't take the uh, anything else. Or you know, maybe this was uh, storage. By the looks of the screen, uh, screen stuff. Or maybe not. This is so strange though. It does look like mostly garbage. Was an old uh, toy. <laughs> These film reels here. Here, oh, you know what? This no, I thought that was a projector. Like uh, I see film reels, but no, that's a uh, that's a grill of some sort. Someone might have been camping in yours. Uh, as far as I know, we got shaving cream over there. Isn't this cool? I love doing this. Yeah, I really picked the worst day to go, but um, you know, at the fact that I'm here, I'm happy. I just randomly will go to places in the spur of the moment. This is one of them. This is my furthest trip, though. I bet you somebody. Somebody could resell all those propane tanks. I don't know anything about those though. Looks empty in here, I can already tell. Up here too. Actually, there's a couple things in there. Just what the original owners didn't take. Nothing too significant. We got like um snorkel gear right there. Oh, it's so wet, my feet are soaked. Oh well. What do we have here? An old, tiny dryer. Yeah, I bet it's hard to get materials out to this place back when people lived here, so. More than likely, um, that's weird. Look at this room. What the heck? Cool graffiti. So yeah, while it looks like there's a dead end, I got a tiny peek of a second uh, part of this neighborhood that's down the road. And there's actually a military base connected to this. 
However, the military base has since been demolished as of, I believe, 20... So, something recently, kind of. Which is really a shame. I could have come here a couple years back. I don't know why they demolished something this remote. I guess to, uh, yeah, they kept these, but they demolished the actual base. Look at all these clothes. That's really weird. An old uh, appliance painting. Every single house has something weird in it. There was nothing in that house. Uh, don't see anything here. That house in the corner really looks bad. Look at all the paint peeling. The evergreens here are beautiful though. I think this is completely surrounded by them. There's a cool giant uh, forest fire tower we could check out as well. Yeah, we're kind of reaching the end of the block here. Not sure what's in store for us. This looks pretty cool. Look at this old rocking chair. It's interesting how the paint's only peeling on the kitchen and nothing else. Cool setup though. Somebody ate chips and dip here. Let's see, uh, more of the old appliances. Just never updated. There's a bed in here. It smells bad in this room. I'm hoping I could fly my drone. I don't know if I could, uh, I'd be able to. Oh, okay, here. So, this is what I was talking about. There's even more homes. I, they look uh, more dilapidated, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, I already see chairs in here. Curious. Kind of a weird setup. Um, this house kind of looks nice. They got the real nice tiles. Looks a lot, this is so weird. Are they performing some kind of ritual? And they had fancy glass tables and stuff here. Yeah, I don't know why this house is kind of somewhat different. I mean, maybe you technically actually own this property uh, at the time. So you had the rights to uh, change the house. I don't know. Not much else left. All right, this is the kind of last house here before we start going to the second portion. Yeah, the door on this one's kind of new. That's really weird. Yeah, this one's updated too, as you can see. Cool.
whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, you could tell it's updated um, because the um, what was it, copper is plastic, which is not good for your health in my opinion. It's cheaper. Everything's cheaper with plastic, you know what I mean? The flooring's new. Similar flooring as uh, my old house. Checking out the second part of the base. It's really raining down bad. Look at that. That's a cool shot. It's really getting mountainous here. So cool. Over here, the leaves have mostly died, but where I live, um, they just kind of started falling. I'm gonna have to shut off the camera. It's getting really wet. So the uh, base is up this way, but uh, here are the houses. Actually, quite a bit more here. Pretty cool. They look really tiny. Oh my gosh, they probably brought those in as, on uh, trailers. Anyways, yeah, there's so many roads here, but uh, the rain is so bad. I gotta get inside. I hope the screen is okay. Um, but this house, not too much left. There's this creepy Barbie doll here. Uh, it looks like it was burnt. Okay. But yeah, these are the smaller homes, I guess. And uh, looks like they're brought in on a trailer. Let's take a quick look in here. Got a face in the camera down, don't mind that, it's because of the rain. Actually, I could put my hat over that, maybe. These are cool, though. They had these uh, big, wide rooms. I wouldn't mind living in here either, honestly. All right, I hope that's better. Just put my hat over my camera. Hopefully, you guys can see a little better. Quite a bit of houses here, though, as you can see. Majority of them, wow. There's a lot of houses. Majority of them seem empty at first glance. So I don't know what the deal with that is. Yeah. This is so eerie though. Comment down below, would you guys be in this position? Would you guys walk along an abandoned town like this? In the middle of nowhere with no help? Let's see, uh, maybe I'll speed up the process a little bit, but I do want to explore all of these houses. Wow. And there's a lot of houses here. I'd say just as much, if not more. Great, we got more stuff on the camera. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. As you may notice, I haven't been filming with this camera recently. I've been filming with my phone. That's just because it's a lot easier to film with my phone and this shakes quite a bit. But I hope this, um, me driving out here with filming with this camera is worthwhile to you guys. I'm losing a lot of money making this stuff. Get it back from making videos, so. All these houses are kind of the same. This one really stood out to me. Maybe it's because it's my favorite color. Yeah. 
empty. I wonder if these are all like this. Still want to walk along the streets though. Oh, this might be the end, I wonder. It's possible. Look at these plants. Let's take a look at, take a second to look at these. Looks like all the petals fell off. I was wondering if these were like bulbs or something. I know one of you guys is gonna know what these are. Grandma, I know you're watching. Isn't this creepy? You really only see stuff like this in maybe Russia. And otherwise I don't, you know, a lot of abandoned military stuff. I'm astounded by the amount of people that lived here for such a small base, you know. Oh, well, it does keep going a little bit, so. These might have been abandoned way before, and the other ones were abandoned recently because on satellite images, you wouldn't be able to tell this was abandoned, the other neighborhood, because there's um, cars in the driveway. And the same cars are in the garages now, some of them. This is really cool, dude. It kind of just dips off over there. I don't think I'm gonna go to the actual Air Force part of the base. I mean, it's already demolished. Maybe there's underground stuff, I doubt it. But uh, I'll fly my drone over there and see what's up. Actually, I don't know if that's a good idea in the rain. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. A drone would be really worth it. Or there's actually a tower here we could climb. Uh, yeah, can't make an outro just yet. It's a really cool tower to climb. We might be able to see the town from above with our very own eyes. Uh, I'd say this is empty too. Yeah, kind of a loss here. Still cool because of all these houses. Oh, there's my hat. I hope that wasn't in the shot. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, let's go. Let's go see if we can find that tower, huh? So everybody, here's this historic fire tower that I was uh, referring to. It's uh, I don't know why it's historic. I guess it was built a long time ago. But uh, people climb this, I guess, so I kind of want to see if I can see that neighborhood back there. So here's the uh, fire tower, and it's actually considered a historic landmark. Of course, it's long abandoned now. I'll have to find some more information on this place, because uh, I don't really know a whole lot about it, to be honest. As you can see, it's made out of wood. You can start to see a nice view. There's a big hole in that. So I'm, I'm not even near halfway up and it's just incredible up here. Absolutely incredible. You can actually start to see the neighborhood now. There's the town. Oh, conditions are getting worse, but we shall prevail. So we are at the absolute top of this fire tower now. It's just, the view is beautiful. Completely breathtaking. You can see all the trees starting to turn, and most already have in certain areas. It's just beautiful. So what I wanted to show you guys, um, there's this. My guess is whatever this is was for bats or some kind of something. I don't know. I mean, I assume, you know, they had some guy who would sit up here and watch fires for, you know, months on end. And, uh, yeah, you can see that. I know. I'd give it five more years. <laughs> so, 
I mean, everybody's came here in 2023, as you can see by other graffiti. So I wasn't the only one on here. But uh, probably won't come back here in a couple of years for sure. That's that's uh, that's to say, whole building kind of shakes. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal. You know, I know buildings have that, but this is really cool. So we have a bird's eye view of the entire neighborhood. Isn't that incredible? And the other houses you can very vaguely see. I'm sure once it's winter time you can see it better, but look at that. Isn't that something? Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you guys sticking to the end. Um, I put a lot of work into uh, going to all these places. Not so much my videos recently, but I want to change that with this one, hopefully. And um, once again, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. So thanks for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe, and there'll be a lot more of stuff like this. Ghost towns, mansions, stuff nobody else can find. That's, that's where I come in. So appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy.